Solar energy has come a long way, but what if we're on the verge of making it even better? Meet perovskite silicon solar cells, a new hybrid technology that's turning heads in the renewable energy world. You might be wondering, what's so special about them? Are they really more efficient, cheaper, and easier to produce than traditional solar panels? Or are they just another idea that looks good on paper? In this video, we'll explore how these cells work and why they're so efficient, the challenges they face before they hit the mainstream market, and what this breakthrough could mean for the future of clean energy. The decades silicon solar panels have dominated the industry, but their efficiency is starting to plateau. That's where perovskite silicon hybrids come in, offering the potential to push solar power past its current limits. What if we could build solar panels that perform better even in low light, cost less to produce, and are flexible enough to fit almost anywhere? That's the promise driving scientists to fast-track this innovation. Could this technology truly transform the way we produce renewable energy, or will it fail to deliver on its promises? Stick around, as we uncover the truth. Perovskite silicon solar cells might sound complicated, but their concept is surprisingly simple and powerful. Let's break it down. Traditional solar panels are made from silicon, a material that's efficient at converting sunlight into electricity, but has its limits. Silicon cells have been stuck at an efficiency ceiling of about 25% for decades. This is where perovskites enter the scene, a completely different class of materials that can absorb light more effectively than silicon. Perovskites are thin, flexible, and cheaper to produce. They're also capable of capturing sunlight at wavelengths silicon struggles to absorb. Now, here's the breakthrough. Tandem solar cells. Scientists have found a way to stack perovskites on top of silicon to form a layered structure. The result? More sunlight captured across different wavelengths higher conversion efficiency, pushing past 30% in lab tests, lower costs because perovskites are lightweight and easy to manufacture. This combination isn't just theoretical. Early prototypes are already delivering impressive results in labs worldwide, and researchers believe these cells could outperform traditional panels in real-world conditions. But how exactly does this layered design generate power, and what makes it so efficient? So, how do perovskite silicon solar cells actually work? At their core, these cells rely on two distinct layers working together, each optimized to capture different parts of sunlight. Let's start with silicon, the base layer. Silicon absorbs red and infrared light, which carry less energy but penetrate deeper. It's reliable and proven, making it the perfect foundation. On top of that, we have the perovskite layer which absorbs blue and green light, higher energy wavelengths that silicon misses. This means more sunlight is captured, boosting energy production. The secret lies in their tandem structure. The layers work in harmony to harvest sunlight more efficiently than either material could alone. The perovskite layer absorbs high energy photons first, while silicon catches the rest, leaving very little light wasted. But here's what makes it even more exciting. Lightweight design and printable manufacturing techniques. Perovoskites can be coated onto surfaces using low-cost printing methods, reducing production time and costs dramatically. This approach not only improves efficiency, but also opens the door for flexible and transparent solar panels. Think windows and curved surfaces, generating energy. Early prototypes have already set efficiency records, pushing over 30% in lab tests. With simpler manufacturing and better performance, this could be the next big leap for solar energy. But can this innovation really outperform traditional solar panels? Conventional silicon panels top out at around 25% efficiency, and that's after decades of refinement. Perovskite silicon hybrids, however, have already surpassed 30% in lab tests. That's a significant jump, meaning more energy harvested from the same amount of sunlight. Perovskites are cheaper to manufacture because they can be produced using low-temperature processes and printed onto surfaces. This eliminates expensive, energy-intensive manufacturing steps required for silicon. Unlike rigid silicon panels, perovskites can be applied to flexible materials. Think thin films, solar windows, or even wearable tech. 
This opens up new possibilities for integrating solar power into buildings, vehicles, and portable devices. Traditional panels struggle in cloudy or indirect sunlight. Perovskites, on the other hand, absorb light across a broader spectrum, making them more reliable in varying weather conditions. Because they're easier and faster to produce, these cells are expected to scale up quickly, potentially driving down costs even further as adoption grows. From higher efficiency to lower costs and flexible applications, perovskite silicon solar cells offer game-changing advantages. But are there any downsides? While perovskite silicon solar cells show incredible promise, they're not without challenges. Let's take a closer look at the key obstacles holding them back. Durability and stability. Perovskites are sensitive to moisture, heat and UV radiation, which can degrade their performance over time. Unlike silicon, which lasts 20, 30 years, most perovskite cells currently struggle to survive beyond a few years, a major hurdle for commercialization. Scaling production from lab tests to mass manufacturing isn't easy. Perovskite layers must be precisely coated to maintain performance, and small variations can lead to defects. Improving consistency and reducing production errors is still a work in progress. Many perovskite formulas use lead-based compounds, raising concerns about environmental safety and disposal. Researchers are actively working on lead-free alternatives, but these replacements often sacrifice efficiency. Even though perovskis are cheaper to produce, integrating them into existing solar farms or creating hybrid panels at scale requires new infrastructure and testing. This could delay widespread adoption by several years. Despite these hurdles, progress is being made to improve durability, reduce toxicity, and simplify manufacturing. What does the future look like for perovskite silicon solar cells? Researchers are making rapid progress to overcome the current challenges, and the results are promising. New protective coatings and encapsulation technologies are extending the lifespan of perovskite layers, making them more stable under harsh conditions. Some prototypes are already showing lifespans of 10-15 years, a big step toward commercialization. To tackle environmental concerns, scientists are developing non-toxic materials to replace lead in perovskites. While these are still being optimized for efficiency, the early results are encouraging. Efforts to scale up production are accelerating. Companies are experimenting with roll-to-roll -roll printing techniques, a method that could produce solar panels faster and cheaper than ever before. Pilot projects are already underway, testing perovskite cells in real-world environments like rooftops and solar farms. If these tests succeed, we could see commercial products hitting the market within the next 5-10 years. Though with their potential for higher efficiency, lower costs and flexible designs, perovskite silicon solar cells could play a key role in transforming the global energy market. Perovskite silicon solar cells are shaping up to be one of the most exciting breakthroughs in renewable energy. With higher efficiency, lower costs and flexible designs, they have the potential to transform how we capture and use sunlight. But like any new technology, challenges remain. From durability concerns to scaling production, researchers still have hurdles to clear before these cells can power homes and cities worldwide. The good news? Progress is happening fast. With ongoing research and real-world testing, it's only a matter of time before these hybrids move from labs to rooftops. So what do you think? Are perovskite silicon solar cells the future of renewable energy? Or do traditional panels still have the edge? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss our updates on cutting-edge technologies. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.